This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I know I haven't posted for a few days, but uh, I've taken some time off and I've spent some time uh, with my husband. <laughs> so we uh, spent the day together and uh, we did things that uh, we like to do together. So that, that was good. We had a lovely day just ourselves. and. Uh, and yes, people do need to spend time with those that are important to them in their lives. So we occasionally do that, Mark and I. Take some time out for each other. And uh, that works out well. So, and people have asked me what this is uh, behind me. Yes, it's called a nipping press, I believe. And it is used to... Um, uh, it is used for book binding, I guess, or, or it used to be. It's, a, it's an old, it's an antique. And uh, yes, I did uh, flirt with the idea of um, book binding. I did a few of them. I'd buy some leather very cheaply wherever I could find it, and I took some books that I had and that were soft cover, and I turned them into hard cover, leather bound books. And that's great, except that that's only the first stage. Then after that you have to emboss it, and I never did get to that stage. So I've learned how to, uh, through experimentation, um, make a reasonable uh, book, actually. Okay, and I guess that could be an example of what I did. It's um, not bad at all. Not great, but it's binding. This you is know, a nice little le leather covered book, but but it's got no indication of what it is, what the title is, what the book is about. But I did put a nice um, paper inside as well. So yeah, I did flirt with that hobby for a little while, did enjoy that, and that nipping press helps. Now, it can also be used to um, press flowers. So I may use it for that purpose sometime down the road, or press leaves, and, um, but that was a hobby I was interested in a while back and uh, lost interest in. As I said, I made a few of these, and uh, then I gave up on it simply because of the fact that you do want to find a way to um, emboss this, and I just couldn't get around to that. Anyway, so been a little bit busy. I did go out to the stores and I bought all my fruit that I wanted for my fruit cake. So I'm going to focus on some Christmas goodies, focus on some happy thoughts and happy things and, and try to get away from all the negativity that we're hearing and seeing everywhere. Just a short reminder that um, things are not always all doom and gloom. Uh, we could look at the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. And it's there, it's half full. So it's not all bad news. And uh, look on the bright side and hope, hope for the best. Meanwhile, prepping still, but uh, my main focus right now is to try and put together some happy thoughts for Christmas and I'm hoping that most more people try to pull away from the negative that they've been inundated with and it seems that that is the case that people just throw a lot of negativity at you constantly and it's a battle to push that away and focus on some of the good things in life so um, that's what I'm going to try to do and uh, hopefully you will as well and enjoy some good times with family and friends, okay? Now I did um, put together a fruit cake and I should have uh, a little video of that. Um, I do have a recipe because I have created this fruit cake before. So the recipe, I'll link to the recipe that I, and the other video that I made initially. I think it was one of the very first that I made but yes, it's the same old fruitcake. <laughs> um, actually, this one is, uh, it's got a lot of brandy in it because uh, I'm making this one for Mark. So, um, and he likes the idea. I got him to dig around and decide which bottle of brandy he wanted me to use. <laughs> okay. 
yes, we do know we're in for a tough winter, but I think we have to learn to look for the silver lining, and there always is one. It's just a matter of finding it, finding the Perhaps rather than looking at what is going wrong, we should look at whom we can help out, um, provide a Christmas meal for, um, send some treats to, bake some extra goodies and share them. Yeah, bring in the old Christmas spirit back. I think. That's oh, and I have to say, I really appreciate appreciate everybody who um, offered some recipes for inexpensive meals in my other post and hopefully other one other folks will look at those and find something that they might find interesting um, perhaps this time around i'm going to suggest if anyone wants to share any christmas uh, treats recipes for christmas treats this would be the ideal time to do that too so that anyone who wants to make any ahead of time and prepare it for um, Christmas Day can do so. I personally um, make things like biscottis as well. Biscottis are, um, they're not necessarily a Christmas treat, but they are a, a very dry, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they are a very dry Italian type cookie. And uh, because they are dry, uh, they last a long time. So. Um, I make a batch of those this time of year and sometimes more often. I have to be careful though. <laughs> I tend to eat all those things myself if I have them around. So I have to be careful not to make them too often. It's like Mark with his butter tarts. If there's butter tarts, he can eat the whole slew of them. Um, so the idea is not to make those kind of treats too often, unfortunately. Rather than having dessert every night, we have it once a month maybe. Okay, so I uh, encourage everyone to share Christmas goodie recipes or anything else they would like to share. Anyway, okay. this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I would suggest that uh, have faith, be happy, help those you can help, befriend those you can befriend. Things change, they always do, and hopefully for the better. Okay, talk to you soon.